as a person and as a life partner, to be open with you about my thoughts and feelings, to touch you each morning and kiss you each night, to trust in your words and actions, to be kind and courteous and considerate to you, to respect your right to freedom, solitude, and individuality, to commit myself totally to you and to our relationship. Furthermore, I will try my best not to hurt you in any way or discredit you before your peers or yourself. I will encourage your personal growth and internal peace. I will allow no person to conspire to alienate my love for you. Neither will I allow myself to be blinded by false feelings for another or life's many luring excitements. I will talk with you, walk with you, persevere with you through tests of time and condition. I will pray with you, hope with you, struggle with you, and suffer with you in your hardships. Most of all, I will love you without condition for as long as I can and as long as you want me to, hoping and trusting it will be forever. The second reading is by C.C. Marquette. Marriage joins two people in the circle of its love. Marriage is a commitment to life the best that two people can find and bring out of each other. They're the offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no human relationship can equal, a joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. There may come times when one partner is heartbroken or alien, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent or a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger. Even anger is felt more strongly and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love through the seasons of life. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who live, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. Two people in love do not live in isolation. Their love is a source of strength with which they may nourish not only each other, but also the world around them. And in turn, we, their community of friends and family, have a responsibility to this couple. By our steadfast care, respect, and love, we can support their marriage and the new family they are creating today. Will you, who are present here today, surround Mibaka and Michelle in love, offering them the joys of your friendship and supporting them in their marriage? Please. There it is. <laughs> One more time. We will. Uh oh. That's baby boy. We will. <laughs> We've come to the point of your ceremony where you're going to say your vows to us. But before you do that, I ask you to remember that love, which is rooted in faith and trust and acceptance, will be the foundation of an abiding and deepening relationship. No other ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. <coughs> if you are able to keep the vows you take here today, not because of any religious or civic law, but out of a desire to love and be loved by another person fully, without limitation, then your life will have joy and the home you establish will be a place in which you both will find the direction of your growth and your freedom and your responsibility. Please now read the vows you have written for each other.
one that withstands the tides of time and change and grows along with us. I bow to honor and respect you for all that you are and all that you will become. Taking pride in who we are, both separately and together. I promise to challenge you and to accept challenges from you. Our home will be a sanctuary and a respite for us and for those whom we cherish. Above all, I will give you my love freely and unconditionally. I pledge this to you from the bottom of my heart for all the days of my life. I'm about to take you, Michelle, to be my wife, my constant friend and partner, and my love. I will work to create a bond of honesty, respect, and trust, one that withstands the tides of time and change, and grows along with us. I vow to honor and respect you for all that you are and all that you will become, taking pride in who we are, both separately and together. I promise to challenge you and to accept challenges from you. Our home will be a sanctuary and a respite for us and those whom we cherish. Above all, I will give you my love freely and unconditionally. I pledge this to you from the bottom of my heart for all the days of our lives. <laughs> May Michelle and Baca have the ring, please. To the ancient Egyptians and many other cultures, the ring was a symbol of eternity, no beginning and no end. And even the hole in the middle was symbolic of a gateway to worlds known and unknown. There is no better way to describe a marriage than a gateway to worlds yet to be traveled, known and unknown.
a new blessed couple in our community, Michelle and Mibaka.